some brand new technologies in Photoshop CS5 include the Puppet Warp tool. And in fact, it is actually very, very powerful. In front of me, I have a wooden puppet, of course, in a transparent layer, where we are actually going to move the joints and limbs of this wooden puppet within Photoshop CS5. With that layer selected, go ahead and go up to Edit and select Puppet Warp. Now automatically you should see a mesh around that image. And up here in the options bar is where you can change the settings of this mesh. For example, if you want to have a little bit more density to these points, you can just select more points. That way you'll have more accuracy when you're selecting the control points of this wooden puppet. Now what do I mean by control points? For now let's just turn off the mesh so you won't get distracted. You should see that your mouse cursor has changed its image and this is where you can apply the control points of your puppet. Let's go around this image and add control points or joints just as you would see as in a human body to this puppet. On the elbow, the hand, the other elbow, the other end, the leg, the leg, the knee, the knee, and so on. You can add as many as you want depending on how much accuracy and how much you want to edit this puppet. Once you are done with that, you are now able to select any control point and move it according to your preferences. I've gone ahead and removed some of the control points just for this video purposes. And you can do that by selecting control point and hitting delete. Now say you want to rotate or move the neck of this wooden puppet left and right. It can be easily done just by selecting this control point and moving it left and right. But now you can see its arms and legs are moving as well. And that is because we haven't pinned his hands with the control points on the puppet. So if you would like, you can go ahead and pin his hands by doing that, that, and that. Now if you move his neck, you can see that only his neck and part of his torso move left and right. But that is not all you can do. Let's get rid of this control point and focus on the shoulder joint. If you hover your cursor over that control point and hold the Alt or Option key, you should get a small circle around that control point. This is what allows you to rotate that control point and that control points range from it going outward. Let me demonstrate this for you right now. If I rotate this, you can see his entire arm is rotating bottom all the way back to top. Then again, you can add a control point here and rotate this as well. Same with his wrist and so on. Now let's go down to his leg, specifically his knee. I want to bring his right leg behind his left leg. And I can only do that if I pin down his point above the kneecap and when I remove this control point. Now let's select this and hold the option key and turn it all the way around. You can see that there's a bit of distortion, but this is only because of the resolution of this puppet. Now, some of you may be wondering how to take this leg and put it behind the other one. I mean, do we just have to go out and erase this part to make it look like it's behind the other one or what? Actually, the puppet warp tool allows you to do it right here in its settings. You can change the pin depth, meaning you can bring it upright or behind the image. Let's set the pin backward and as you can see, the leg is now behind his left leg. Once you're happy with your editing, hit enter and Photoshop changes those settings. And also you can see here that most of the distortion in the leg is now gone. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a very powerful tool new in Photoshop CS5. Stay tuned for more Puppet Warp tutorials coming up right here on MacBoy Productions. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to these videos and channel. And guys, I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions. Thank you.